Alright, welcome back guys to Fallout 3. Um, I just got myself some crisps, so you can probably hear me munching on them in a bit. But anyway, let's go do the rest of this quest. I thought I'd do another um, sure session, because it's been 50 back. minutes. And the file was so, like just over 6 gigabytes, by the way. Which Everything is looks okay here. It's very small. Don't slouch! Right Hello. Yes, Mom. It's very small compared to everything else so good to see yeah what do you want you don't have to be such a bitch oh really my husband ran off and got himself killed and left me to raise his little brat so don't you tell me how i should or shouldn't be all right little buddy hi let me introduce myself i am gary i talk to you my it's off hi I'll be right with you. What do you want? Uh, <laughs> don't need to be scared, son. So where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Oh, do you want to fight, mate? Here. Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? You better. Better, better not try, try that again. again. This oh my god, I got away with it. I got away from pun with punch a little kid. I'm a fucking beast, mate. Don't ever piss around with me, by the way. I'm hard. I punch a little kid. That's what I do for a living. I punch little kids. Two pound an hour. It's not that good, like. Sister's Hotel. I don't think it's my actual sister. But what's her name? Okay, Zim is a character you'll see later on. If you played Fallout 3, which you probably have. Welcome to Rivet City you probably Supply. know this. Shut up, Seagrave. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. You got a T-51B? No, then you don't have everything. By the way, T-51B is the strongest armor in the whole game. A what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. I've got a little bit of everything. Ah, yummy. Oh, you do have a little bit of everything, but... Again, you don't have a T-51, do you, mate? Um, um, I can't wait till we get to the later parts of the game where it comes all dark and we get to do this fucking expansion packs. I'm not even bothered about money anymore. You can keep all that Another shit. Another satisfied customer. What do you know about Rosie? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Enough about River City. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Actually, no. Um, oh. Nah, let's just ignore that. Um. You don't look so tough. Actually, no, can I talk to you again, please? Take a look around. Um, oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, I'm squeezing long... it for you. Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Meyer Lurks used to nest. Oh, God. And where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful though, ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Okay, so is that any info for us? I know what you gotta do. I know to get all of it, but I want to squeeze everything. Welcome out. to the Weatherly. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to chems. His Do 
know anything about history. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Well, is there anyone who knows more? Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since cool. he was just a boy, and I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Uh, really? You're taking the piss. So long. Farewell. So long. Actually, no, I want to get some more XP out of you. Get it. Welcome back, sir. Thank you very much. You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. My, oh my, Miss America. Pie. They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. What's to do with that little cunt? Nah, I'm joking. Oh well. Hello. Hello, officer. How are you? Very respectful, that guy. At least don't shoot you because you're black. Hello. Right. Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. <laughs> I'm short on time, and your five minutes are up. See ya. Oh, well, fuck you then, mate. I'm not gonna bother. You run in. Say, got something to hide? Got something to hide, Sonny Jim? By the way, he left a door open, and I'm gonna... <gasps> <laughs> oh, God. Are you serious? I'm locked in. Rape. Is there anything I actually need in here? Fuck's sake. Alright, sorry about that, I suddenly cancelled the recorded. Um, so I was trying to look for the quick load thing. But anyway. I can't believe I got locked in. What's the time? Why is everything locked? Bannon. The game don't care about karma that much. Only when I'm doing quests I do the good route. see anything. Long night dropping bombs here in the Oh, okay. Hello. Do you wanna you wanna come in here? No, don't walk away. Come in here. Come in here. I like how they made him walk like woman almost as well. Yes. Hey. No. Oh hello. Ted Strand. You can chill with me if you want, dude. Oh, he's fucking cool. Sounds like a plan, man. Alright. You and me just hanging. You got any buff out? Dude, I only just got here myself. Ain't nothing I could tell you. See you later, Ted. Later, dude. I am Father Clifford of St. Monica's Church. Nice mustache, man. You're a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. Oh, come on, mate. What do you know about this history? Oh, You're old. it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon. But the future of its inhabitants. Yeah, but I'm asking you, what do you know? But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. Yeah, Mr. Bannon's a bullshit. He says that he pretty much great that he's full of shit. Useless, you are. Useless. Broken terminal. Sally's is boring. Did you hear about my 
fight in a muddy gutter last night? Oh, get in there, mate. Yeah. Bell's gonna have to replace some cables. The most advanced scientific center in the Bam. capital wasteland. I find your look, Dr. Zimmer. We've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee, Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now, please stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Right, I'm not going to talk to any of you, okay? Nice, we found the bobblehead as an intelligence bobblehead that increases it by one. I know I didn't read that, I just knew what you it there. Oh shit, you scared what me. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Um, that depends, what exactly are we talking about? To the point, I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? Oh, I'm gonna fucking bite All you mate. know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can Why be. Why are you squinting at me? You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Do you want me to look for one? Isn't it quite clear? You are to locate my android. Oh, why don't you just get an eye He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Why didn't you just ask your mate to ring your phone and then you can find it? Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. I don't have any friends. Shall I look for your android? Excellent. Excellent! Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Do you know any history? Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground, and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. Okay, mate. Of course. You should be nice to me, mate. I'm doing you a job. All right. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. Yes. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time so you, you get this, I will be someone else. It would make it's the price I pay for my liberation. Us. 
my final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. I know at any point somebody's going to come and talk to me about the android. And every time, it scares the shit out of me. It, it does it. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. Even does it right when you're just walking around in the wasteland, like in the middle of nowhere, like this person will come up to you and like, oh, I heard you're looking for an android. It just it scares you, man. No, no. I'm only here to help with moving things, lifting heavy equipment. I'm no scientist. I simply help Dr. Lee in whatever way I can. Okay. And I know he's going to do it out of nowhere. It's gonna, I bet he'll do it when I leave this room. It really scares the shit out of me. Come on, do it. I'm waiting for you. This place could use a few more people willing to work. Everything's falling apart. By the way, there's another audio tape under here. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. So that only proves one thing. Someone on this ship is the android. What's the big idea? Hello, Diego. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. D um. Father. All right, can I go? Actually, can I ask what this is? I it? heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out. But I don't really know for sure. Alright, thanks a lot anyway. You've probably been the actual most help so far. God bless you. Alright, um... Oh, I already asked you, you know, fuck all. Um... There's Seagrave's house. Shit, I think I need the nigga's key. Because I think I only have like 20 or... What the fuck? That was very weird. I know she's gonna pop up that person saying like, oh, I need you look for an android. I'm just gonna do it like when I least expect it. Probably when I open this fucking door and off. Damn it. Thanks for the scrap. I know you got something in this room. And that guy called Sister, we need to find him as well. You didn't stone twice now. Holmes, this is my last appeal. We used to be friends. We always used to do the business together. Well, I want to just to sell the product. If you want to read it, just pause it. Alright. Because I have read it multiple times. Like, so. I'm just gonna keep thinking of that woman so it doesn't make me jump. Oh, hello. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? Yes, I have been one of them. <laughs> I'm one of them for years. <laughs> I'm not going to hit you. What are you scared of? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. It's 25 caps. Maybe you can buy yourself a gun. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnel's just before closing. Oh, why can't I just give you I a don't gun? have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. 
If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Okay, and that's what we're going to do later on. Come on, Veronica Watts, or whatever your name is. Come and fucking arc here me out of nowhere. Hello, Seagrave. Watch it, will you? You what, mate? You what, mate? You're starting to do my editing. And that lag, though. Such a beautiful lag. It's a beautiful Welcome lag. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I think I've seen you in here before. When you're ready to buy, just let me know. Um, is there in the city council? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Seagrave, oh yeah, he's clueless. So you've met him, eh? Well, he wants to replace me on the council. Now I can't have that. No siree. He's a shady character, I just can't prove it. If someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Already done, mate. Well, let's just say, I would be very appreciative. I found a letter in Seagrave's room. It's from the slavers. Really? I... I mean, I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Tell Danvers about that letter right away. That will squash any hope he has of replacing me on the council. Don't tell her I asked you to find it, though. That would backfire in a nasty way. Right, who's Danvers? Come on, scare me out of nowhere, Veronica. Just, uh, it must be random then whenever she comes to see you, because I remember, um, I think I've... S f I think I picked up a holotape, I don't even listen to it, and then... Like, I don't even activate the quest yet, and she'd come after me, I was like, whoa. Good to see you. Oh, hello. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? I do have a notepad as well. I know nothing about the history. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Okay. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. I forgot what it's called. Danvers or something, wasn't it? Everything looks okay here. I think no, I know I haven't seen anything. who's on about. Why is it? It's a terrible lag, man. I apologize. It's a computer. Do I, I do have like three programs open at once. I have this, Bandicam, and Audacity, so. Um, Danvers. Is that Danvers? May Saint Monica bless you. I know you know something about this android. It's true. They found him a place to hide. It's not easy. The Commonwealth always sends someone looking, someone ruthless and determined. They had been searching for a surgeon and computer programmer. I hope they found him. It's too dangerous to be out in the open now. He must be important if the hunter is still looking after all this time. May God guide his footsteps. Be careful who you talk to. These are dangerous topics. No, they're not, mate. I'm fucking beast. Saint Monica bless you. Oh, okay, sick. Angelina. So Henry Old. Do you know? I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. Fair enough. Making some caps. Good on. Sister's room, I think it's a bad Danvers, Danvers. You're not Danvers, you're Ted Strayer. And you're a legend, by the way. Best character in Fallout 3. He pretty much is a comic relief character. Right. Nope, not here. Is it the upper deck? Yeah, it is the upper deck. What up, CJ? Carl Johnson. Danvers. Good to see oh, you. Hello, they call me sister. Don't ask. You're a man. Why did they call you sister? Are you making fun of my name? 
It's a damn good thing for you this place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. Bring it on, bro. Good to see you. It's just a bit part of the main Hello. Hello, Christy. Hello. Nice to see you. Good. Move. I am at your service. You live right behind a fucking robot. Mr. Buckingham. Buckingham Palace. Bottom system. And I believe there's a holotape. There is. Get it done. Time's running out on finding that android. If we don't get him soon, someone else will. Zimmer doesn't seem to understand we're the best at this sort of thing. I'm sure he's had others too. Shut up about the thing. He was babbling about a lipoplasticator, a microdermal graftalizer. What are those, you ask? It's apparently something doctors use to mess up someone's face beyond recognition. So we don't even have a description to work off of. But to make matters worse, he now thinks the android got his memories wiped or something. Find some tech junkies, knock on some doors, and try to find something called a circuit neuralizer. And knock on some heads, too, if you have to. Get it done. Sister obviously knows something. Investigating. I'm a private investigator. Move. Hashtag save the androids. What is she doing here? What is she doing here? That's a highlight right there. What the fuck? Are you sleeping with Zimmer? I know you're looking for an android. That's Veronica Watts, by the way. I know you're looking for an android and everything, but what the fuck? You've been rather busy lately, asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator, a detective for hire, or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. I told you she spawns to the most random places, but. Zimmer's room? I've never seen that before. Don't you realize what you're doing? The path you're on has the potential to ruin a man's life. Is that what you really want? Listen to me. I'm involved with a movement that has dedicated itself to saving these runaway androids. I can't let you interfere with that work. This conversation's over, Miss Watson. Step aside. Fine. Blow me off. Live in denial. Yeah, I'm all right, babe. But take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. If you change your mind, if you decide you want to help, present the component to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. We're in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead, and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. He'll go back to the Commonwealth, and you'll have saved a man's life. Well, that's why I'm glad I'm here. Good old All right, now get out. Go investigate to do it. I can't believe that. That's insane. Some good stuff, but about the android. I don't think I have, I think it'd give me everything. Alright. You're bothering me. You don't want to bother me. Um, have you heard anything about the history? Do I look like someone who cares? Yeah. I guess I can trust you not to spread it around. Zimmer has put it out that he will pay to find this slave. He wants him alive. Don't get in my way on this one. My competition tends to end up dead. 
Got things to do. So do I. Hello. At least some actually friendly people on this ship, I suppose. Now, where's the like Danvers one way? Do you, does Diego know? Right. God bless you and keep you safe. Father Clifford. Screw it then. Father Clifford's an asshole. Danvers guy. Danvers. This is nickname or something. Hey there. Fuck off. I know you're my best friend, Ted, but I'm busy. Oh, okay, mate. You need to chill out with the chems. Hey there. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. Ha <laughs> I run the... You shouldn't take that stuff, it'll kill you. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. I'm trying to find out history. Huh? History? What history? There's no history here, man. Why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. True. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. I'll go around full. Yeah, me too. I'll leave you to it. By the way, if you give him chems, um, you'll find him like a couple of hours later and he's dead. Because he ODs. Oh, we haven't been in here yet. Hey there. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Alright, we'll talk to, um, I don't really want to talk to Dr. Lee just yet. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Abraham Washington. Um, look good. I was looking for some kindling in an interesting collection. It's an interesting collection of garbage. Yes, an interesting collection. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents oh. in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. If you want me to retrieve the jet, all you have to do is ask. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the society's collection here. Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. I've actually forgot about this quest. In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Thank you very much, mate. You're good Remember, at Remember? Actually, no, do anything about history. I can't That's wait to about. add the declaration. It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. <laughs> I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. Um, 
have to go. Be careful. The archives are in. I don't know where to go for the Android quest, by the way. I can't remember what all the holotapes are. I want to go into the science lab. That was bad. I'm sure there'll be something about it. Are you okay? I do have reasons. Evening. I'd rather I'd rather be alone just now. Whoa. What's the rush, Boy, dude? You got gun equipped. Trying to shoot someone. Oh, okay. Who are you gonna shoot it? Staley. This guy must know something. For a reason. Don't get any ideas. Yeah, so I'm in it. Fucking idiot. Literally nothing. Okay, might as well unlock that just for the experience. Where's the muddy, the muddy rudder? You haven't bought me a drink yet. Sure, his bike. Can't help you with the history, honey. Bitch. You're lost. Can't be asked. Um, not even that good looking, man. Right. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Runner. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. This is a real dump. Uh. Yeah, well, it's my dump, not yours. Either order a drink or get out. Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? I don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron are you? Right, but fine. Up. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. You've actually helped. Cover Room City's true history. And that's where we'll find out about the android. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we need, because down here, it's not a very nice place. Hmm. 
Oh, yep, forgot something. I forgot to talk to a guy, which I believe is at the top. And we're going to quickly do that. So it kind of look like it looks like that. Yeah. This area is off limits to civilians. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? No, no. Oh, he survived. Alright, let's do his thing. Time's gone too far. Oh, we are in the right way. Now, quick, go, 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 go. There's my looks on it. I hate it. There's one right behind me, and I hate it when they chase me in the water, even though they're too damaged. Quick, bats. There we go. I was close. <laughs> um, I think it's because I think you need a high explosive skill and it takes it longer for them to detonate. So more time to disarm. I'm not sure why it's lagging in this area. It doesn't usually. It's usually really smooth. It's really smooth now. Yeah. 40 frames now. Funny doing that. I 
Hello. Yeah. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. It's dopey, man. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Well, I want to ask you why there's a fucking corpse on your thing. And it looks like it's been there for about, I'd say about 15 years, 20 years maybe. Tell me about the history. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. I hear you're the only one who knows the truth about River City's founding. Ha. Ah, sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. Set the record straight is exactly my goal. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. So you used to be in charge. How did you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Do you have any hard evidence of all this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. I think that's it now then, is it? It is, but... What kind of work? The secret kind. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. <laughs> I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha! <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. But a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. What are you doing in this part of this room? I live part? here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. Don't let your guard down. Okay, so you can't get information about the android. Do you have the key on you? Fuck. Shit. Um. Watch it, will you? Guess we're not quite done yet, then. It's kind of a pain in the ass. There's a book around here. Scrap. This lag is actually doing my fucking head in. Um. You stop looking at me. You're not even looking at me. later on though mate.
fact, I know someone who knows about the android. I think that's the last person we need to speak to since we got, I think we got about three out of four. I think it's four, anyway, um, holotapes. Not sure how long we've been recording. That's it, about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes. I'm not sure where he goes up right up into, into your room though. I really don't get that. So I think once we're done with the Wasteland Survival Guide, we've done everything we need to do in Megaton. Because the scrap metal one is never ends. What do you need? So he doesn't like a Megaton. It's like 37 frames of Megaton. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Uh, after a lot of searching, I've got the real history of Rivet City. Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. It began as a research sta um, station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. The next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh, nice. And now my research for your book's complete, isn't it? Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, <laughs> it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. So. Well, thanks. I'm pretty proud of it. So what's the final product? Oh, it's great! Why, with the information here, we'll save hundreds of lives. Maybe even thousands. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But first, here, the very first copy of our book goes to you. I couldn't have done it without you, my Wasteland Survival Expert. As a result of your painstaking research from the Wasteland Survival Guide, your survival skills have improved. So, waste, uh, quest completed, Wasteland Survival Guide. I think we started this quest in like part 2, and it's now like part 7. That's insane. But, that's probably the longest quest in the whole game. And I'm fi we finished it. Do you know who did the main memory transfer on the escaped android? I heard a rumor a while back that it was some guy named Pinkerton at Rivet City. Apparently he's got some sweet tech stashed on that boat. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you a lot, Mike. Thanks a lot, Moira. Now, do you have any goodies? Because we can now start getting on with the main storyline a little bit until we start unlocking, you know, new areas. Then I want to get on at some point with the DLCs. Good hunting! Alright, um... Now... Where is it? Big Book of Science. 
Science increased by two. And the Wasteland Survival Guide. We can't read it, I don't think. Oh, we can, okay. This moderate guidebook contains little of use to experienced wasteland survivors, but could be considered a decent beginner's guide. It has a handful of useful facts about survival in the wasteland, but is burdened by rambling notes about mutated creatures and naively misinformed suggestions about rebuilding humanity. Its detailed focus helps in some areas, but is simply confusing in others, especially when the content itself is questionable. But anyway, we're going to go and confront Pinkerton. And now we don't have to go through the broken bar, we can just... It's all traders, nice. Got some junk to unload? Welcome, sir or ma... Now. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need, assuming you need the random junk that I've got. A pleasure doing business with you. Adrian. I want to get a stealth shot on this guy. Is that him? No. I really want to get a stealth shot. <laughs> I love this gun. I don't think I think it was a torso. We're gonna quickly discover this area so we don't have to do it later. Correct. Haha. <laughs> right. Um. I think those respawn, but I just want to search the area. Well, you know, um, not search it. Um, discover it. Because it's the key area. This is. You need to go to this bit to finish the main story. Jefferson. Let's take care of this guy. Where is he? You can tell our gun skill has definitely gone up. Look at that. I think that's like the first time we've like proper killed someone. Like 
well, in bats, you know. Shit, really. looks respawned by the way but it's ages until they get to very 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 fun because you finish the wasteland survival guide you've got all this stuff got the beast armor you've got the beast quests sharp they're everywhere discuss the facial reconstruction what are you talking about boy I don't know anything about any of that and uh what did you call it an Android what's that let's just say it's in your best interest tell me what you know fine whatever this Android calls himself Harkness now comes in and wants a memory job I took new memories and replaced his old ones don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. Show me this proof about the android. Well, she's got nothing to do with anything except ruining my whole goddamn life. But I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit... Inhospitable. Um. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry I couldn't resist. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. I have to go. Don't let your guard down. By the way, you can get facial reconstruction on yourself as well. I think that you can just change your hair and shit, you know? You want to read it, pause it. Oh. Android blog. Suk Sukuna, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, come read that if you want. Pause it, you can read it, you know. 
Let me see the pictures. Yeah. My designation is A3 21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell. And running away is the only option I have. Alright, so that's, uh, that's that. Now let's go and confront him. I suppose. <laughs> My looks respawned. Don't know. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? I'm not sure to put this. You're not who you think you are. What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid. I don't have time for existential debate. And I'm not interested in whatever religion you're peddling. You're a robot from the Commonwealth. Excuse me? Look, kid. You have exactly five seconds to explain what you're trying to do here. Or you'll be leaving Rivet City by the way of the nearest porthole. I know you didn't believe me, but I'm telling the truth. No. The facts will speak for themselves. I have a picture and an audio testimony. All right. I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. It's not real blood, Harkness. It's synthetic, just like everything else. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? Uh, I'm sorry, Harkness, but this is the only way. Ah! Oh, my God. I... I remember. I remember it all. From before. Zimmer. The Commonwealth. The Institute. My God. All those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I just... My God. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. What are you going to do with Zimmer? He's the one you were running away from. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Sometimes you have to kill the bad guys. Thank you for warning me about Zimmer, and for keeping this a secret. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Best weapon a man could ask for. Just do me a favor and don't go blasting up my boat. People discharging weapons on my boat tends to get me nervous. Unless I'm the one doing the shooting. To kill dangerous thieves from the Commonwealth, for instance. So basically... The A321 plasma rifle is the unique version of a plasma rifle, so it's our first unique gun, so it basically it's more powerful, and it's probably faster as well, so we will be using that, probably in a minute, I'll have to upgrade my NG weapons, literally right now, because we just leveled up, so what do you know, no, uh, well now you know the truth, what are you going to do? I have two sets of memories, one android, one human, some of these are mine, some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, 
Where's the hope? Carry on then. Is he following? helpful than your colleague over there. Do you know anything about advanced robotics and artificial intelligence? We've all already told you we're too busy to help. Now if you please, Mr. Zimmer. That's Dr. Zimmer to you. Come on, mate. Miss whatever your name is. I'd have thought you barbarians would be more interested in advanced technology. Insulting me won't get you what you want, Dr. Zimmer. Now if you'll excuse me, please. Fine. Have it your way. Good luck with your little... Hey. Zimmer, I hear you're looking for an android. Why, yes. I'm anxious to retrieve him and return to the Commonwealth where he belongs. He's a very expensive piece of equipment. I see. This android of yours is little more than a piece of property. A thing? A thing that belongs to you? What are you going on about? Yes, of course he belongs to me. Now, have you found him or not? Yes, yeah, Zimmer. I found your damn android. He's standing right in front of you. But he's not going anywhere. I'm sorry, I don't follow. Not as sorry as you'll be in a moment. Goodbye, Mr. Zimmer. And I hope you've enjoyed your stay at Rivet City. I knew, mate. Look, I appreciate your helping with Zimmer, but I really just want to put all this behind me. So I'm going to pretend none of that happened. Now, is there something I can help you with, citizen? Um, I heard you're in some sort of city council. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Tell me about Dr. Lee. She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Uh, thanks for the help. Carry on, then. Okay. What goodies do you have? Should I have this component? A key. I already unlocked your doors from the map. So you had one as well, all right? Janet, look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Wait, how do you know who I am? Have we met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now, I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. 
trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Uh, can you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where is the old lab? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Scientific pursuits. I have to go. Good luck finding your father. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. See you there.